Silver State Trains, back at it again for some more fun after getting a little bit more rest. Um, I busted out an old friend here. I don't know if you can see it in the in, in the video, but I I I brought out from uh, storage my my Cotto NW2 um, that I did a DCC conversion on a while ago, and man, was she grumpy! Uh, not wanting to run that one at all. Um, I had to take the cover off it, kind of look inside to see what was going on. Kind of played around to make sure that the the that the connections were tight, and if I was holding it, I didn't mind a little bit of a little bit of zapping from the DCC system. It it would it was running, but it was not happy uh, without me kind of holding in the connectors, and it wouldn't run at all um, just on the layout without the shell. The minute I put the shell back on it after kind of fiddling with fiddling with it for a while. Uh, it started to run, and now it, I was able to run it all the way up the grade. Um, you know, drop off some cars over there without any problems. So I'm gonna play around with that one for a little bit more here. But uh, I don't know if you just saw my Kato SD70M go up this grade here. So if you recall from my first layout, I had that four percent grade. So the max that these uh, I gotta clean more track over there. She slowed down. Um, the max that my Kato SD70M was able to pull up a 4% grade was eight cars. Well, right now it's pulling um, a, a cut of 12 up this 2% grade without any problem. It could probably pull more. So grades make a huge difference in what you can, what you can and cannot haul <laughs> up there with, with one engine. So I'm definitely glad I have the 2% the, the kit. Uh, on here as opposed to the four percent so that's making i think a, a huge difference um so now i got to figure out why it was running perfectly last night so we're talking not even 24 hours it's now not liking that that track back there so it's the nature of the hobby just gotta play with it a little bit but anyhow i thought i would uh i guess just stop talking and run some trains all right, I'm going to pull out this cut of cars I have over here with my NW2 and see how she's running now. Seems to be doing pretty decent. I'll go ahead and bring her down to the yard. All right, so just for fun, and just to kind of practice, as I still need to learn the lingo, um, I just had an inbound train come in with some coal hoppers and some gondolas. I mean, not gondolas, they're the covered hoppers, excuse me. So I need to break up this, this cut a car real fast and get a another train ready for for the outbound so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right i'm going to grab these four covered hoppers here real quick my nw2 seems to be running pretty decently i love those micro train couplers All right, next I want to grab these two box cars. I'll go ahead and get those real quick. All right, and then to complete this ship out, I'm going to grab these four gondolas right here. Excuse me, these five gondolas. All right, that completes this ship out here so let me get it on a on a longer track here so it'll fit we'll call it lane two in the yard all right i'm going to grab my Kato sd70m here to go grab the 
cut of cards we just put together. We're going to head on out. Let go. That's a problem I have up in this hill. So we're just gonna pretend that it didn't happen. It's just between me and you. Really? See, this is how it goes, you know? Just I'm gonna show this because I don't see the point in cutting it out. This is this is the hobby. So I am going to fix this. I don't want this eating up the video. All right, does that count as, as movie man? Oh. <laughs> oh. I got to fix these couplers. You're killing me, Micro Trains. I was just saying good things about you, too. All right, take two or take three, whatever it is. I swear, trains have like a sixth sense. They know when they're being recorded. They know when they need to behave, and they choose not to. Because <laughs> this train's been running in the background, no problem. I just want to film it running up this stinking hill. Nope. All right, so... Inbound train just brought in this crap. <laughs> I'm going to unhook and run away real fast. Okay, well, I'm going to wake up Sleeping Beauty over here. And grab the covered gondolas. Oh. Helps I put it in the right direction. I'd say I'm a trained professional, but I don't want you all laughing at me. Okay, let's see. Micro trains, did you do your job? Okay, cool. We got them. All right, so since this engine is pushing these cars, I need to use the, the, the runaround track. But in order to do that, I've got to get the rest of the cars out of the way. So, I'm going to drop these here and go and grab the other cars. Alright, if it looked like that kind of moved around a lot, it's because it did. I uh, don't know my, my forward from front, apparently, or forward from reverse, and yeah. 
fumbling around like crazy. You don't want to go anymore? You done? Okay, well, the switch is thrown. What's going on with you? A little unhappy there? Come on. This is how I envisioned using this uh, this runaround track. Hopefully, the concept works. So I want to get another kind of yard engine, so I can keep one up here. Oh, did I not throw that switch? We're drifting. Sorry about that. I made a boo-boo. I forgot to throw a switch, so I had cars all over the place. It was a rail fanning dream. Derailed cars. I think there was a small fire. There we go. All right, I'm going to run around these real fast. All right, I don't have power on this back track over here yet, so I'm just going to push these far enough in to get them out of the way. All right, and these... These gondolas I'm going to drop over here behind the cement company here. See if I can reach back there because I know if I get too far, too far back, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I mean, I got a good wingspan, but it's definitely back there. I'm looking at maybe getting those, uh, those Kato magnetic decouplers to see what they're kind of like. All right, let's go grab those box cars real fast and finish this painful experiment. I'm going to run around these boxcars real fast.
And there we go. This will be some kind of industry that will receive boxcars. Well, I hope that wasn't as painful to watch as it was to actually do. So, <laughs> I don't really do, you know, bloopers or anything. I, I show you my triumphs and screw-ups and whatnot, so that was painful. <laughs> it ran. It ran. Some user error. Some track issues. Got to fix those couplers. They are killing me. They're working great. I mean, I'm just kind of running around, but the minute that I point that camera at it to do some real stuff, man, they let go quick. So I got to get that done. But all in all, what you guys think? Was it, was it painful? <laughs> Did you enjoy it? You know, yeah. So, all right. We we tested. Track so far is okay. I, I don't know what's going on with the... I, I mean, I have... I have scrubbed every inch of it with this... With this uh, Toothbrush. This was brand new, and now it's a nice, nice dirty dark shade. So I cleaned every inch of it. So I would think that it should be running decently now. Now I do have some couplers, not couplers. What are they called? I do have some unit joiners that I've been using since probably the first layout. I know this yard here. I kept this. A lot of the a lot of my um, couplers in the yard are. Uh, are brand new, not a couple, I said it again. The unit joiners are brand new in the yard, but I probably need to kind of go around and replace some throughout the layout. Uh, I do have, I think, maybe two more bags that I could use to kind of replace some and some, some troubled spots, but yeah, so this is not too long. I'm going to cut you all loose, so hopefully you enjoyed my suffering and found some entertainment here, but yeah. Hit me up in the comments if you have any thoughts. <laughs> Want a good laugh or whatnot, you know. At my expense, go for it. And anyhow, I appreciate you all watching, and you have a good one.